Judge Obama hits the road, heads to the heartland for a two-day trip through the Midwest. The president is promoting his economic agenda to rural America. Republican Senator John Barrasso, who is also a doctor, says President Obama is actually making life harder for rural America. Senator Barrasso joins us live. Senator, before we find out why you think President Obama is making it harder for um, America, there's news tonight that the University of Wyoming, that a, that a court said that uh, Bill Ayers, who was one of the founders of Weather Underground, will be allowed to speak at the University of Wyoming despite threats. Well, I don't like it. You know, he is uh, someone who would be a domestic terrorist today involved with the weather underground, bombing of the Capitol building, bombing of the Pentagon. But, uh, you know, the Senate could take a lesson from Wyoming. The hearing in Wyoming was yesterday. The judge ruled today, and the speech is tomorrow. Well, that is good. That does. Finally, there's some speed in the court system. We'll give, we'll give the court system that. All right. Um, now, what is your objection? To, what, why do you say President Obama hasn't done anything for rural America? Well, when he was campaigning for office, the president said within the first hundred days in office, I will have a bipartisan a rural summit involving people all across the country. You know, there are 50 million Americans living in rural America. I'm the chairman of the, the Western Caucus, Greta. And the president really has ignored it until this point. Uh, why? He's, I mean, he's got, he's got, he's got, he's had a lot on his plate. Whether you whether agree with what he's done or whether or not, but it's not like he's been sitting around uh, watching television. I mean, he's been busy with other issues. Well, he made a campaign promise. He didn't keep it. And my concern is that the uh, proposals that he is putting forth in terms of our land, in terms of our energy, in terms of our water, uh, all have impacts on rural America that the people, certainly the West, don't like and the people of the Western Caucus. I mean, we're dedicated to less government, lower taxes, uh, fewer regulations, secure borders, and a strong defense. And when you look at the energy policy, and the president today was in Iowa at a factory where they make wind turbines. He talked about uh, wind energy. It's important, but all of the energy is important. We need the oil, the gas, the coal, the uranium for nuclear power. We need it all, because the president even admitted, even if they do everything they want to do, by the year 2030, wind power is only going to be 20% of the electricity of the country. So I worry with the cap and trade proposals, with what the president, through his Environmental Protection Agency and some of the regulations, what they're going to do, that's going to raise the cost of energy for all Americans. I don't, I don't mean to I could be so uh, cynical, but um, you said that there are 50 million in rural America. That is that. That's not. I mean, a lot of. I, I actually, it's more than I thought there was. But I mean, it's not a lot of votes there. Yeah. Um, and I mean, and, and I think that you know, the Washington tended, has tended to ignore rural America. You know, all of Washington, not just the Democratic Party, because there aren't so many votes there. Well, they can, for whatever reason, but the president went to I'm not to saying Iowa. it's right. I'm not saying okay. it's right, but I'm saying, you know, that, you know, that, you know no. it's, it has always struck mm -hmm. me that I'm, I'm from a, a rural, I mean, I'm, I'm actually, not, yeah. yeah, not a rural state, but I mean, I'm not from a, have a, a huge state. Yeah. Well, that's why our Western Caucus is committed to bringing up the issues that we think are important. And we want to make energy as clean as we can, as fast as we can, but not raising prices, the cost of energy, for American families. And my concern, Greta, is that gas is going to go to $4 a gallon this summer. So when the president is focusing so much effort on renewables at the expense, because he, he talked about Spain, actually, in his, in, in his speech today. And in Spain, when they put all this effort into, into renewable energy for every one of those green jobs they created, they lost two jobs, which are really important red, white, and blue jobs for my state and other states of the West. I have 30 seconds left, but let me ask you about um, Senator John McCain and Senator John Kyle wants the president to focus on immigration, I imagine, or at least I'm, I'm putting guards on, on Border Patrol. What about that? I mean, everyone's got sort of a, a wish list at this point. What about the immigration issue? Where do you put that in sort of the, set, the agenda? Well, in terms of secure borders, that's very important. And I don't believe that our southern border is secure at this point. So we need to do that. Uh, but the question is, are they going to go to cap and trade? Are they going to go to immigration? You know, Harry Reid has been in the discussion points of that. We need secure borders in this country. We don't have them now. Senator, thanks, sir. Hey, thanks, Greta.